Good morning and welcome to this morning's low impact fitness class. We're going to start it in just a minute. We're in different surroundings today, so I thought I'd give you something different to look at. But I'm going to share a playlist link in the comments for you so that you can have some music to listen to if you wish. I'm going to back her up here. Um, playlist. Paste. And then I'm just gonna share this and then we'll get started. So let me just find my group. It's taken me two months, <laughs> but I finally clued in to the fact that it is easier for me to share this with my phone than on the computer. So low impact has happening now. Post. And... Yeah, I just thought that since it was sunny, I still can't talk and type at the same time. Since it's sunny out, I didn't really want to spend the day in the basement all by myself in the dark. So I thought I have to move all sorts of things in order to have class up here. But I thought I'll do that so that I can at least, you know, feel like I've had some sunshine. So I got my music going, I'll prop it on my coach here, and we'll get started with the march. So a couple things, camera is clearly right here, my computer is over here, so if you see me look over here, like to say, hi Shirley, it's because I have to look over there. So starting with our march, I also thought it would be nice for you guys to have a different scenery for the day. <laughs> Let's go to a heel dig, heel and heel. One thing about being upstairs is cats can come and go at any moment, so we never know what's going to happen. This little hole takes the cats downstairs to the basement, where we usually are, so they may come flying in and out from there. Clara just plainly went running through the house. Another nice thing about me being up here is I have a ceiling fan right there, just out of screen. Let's do both arms into a bicep curl. And as usual, that playlist I shared is for Spotify. You can start a free Spotify account. If you have a free account, occasionally you'll have commercials, like radio commercials. But still, the links I share are always for fitness music. And aside from those few moments when you have an interruption for a radio commercial, it really does make your workout a lot nicer to have a consistent beat. Let's take it to an overhead press. We press and press. And also up here, I can get the camera far enough away that you can see my whole person for once when I reach my arms up and I don't hit the ceiling. <laughs> Four, three, two, let's march. Let's glue down our heels and tap our toes. So I guess this is the first Tuesday morning that we've broadcast live here on my Facebook page. And some of the nice things about that is I can see comments when they come in. So I'm gonna go over and check those in a minute. I still can't see when individual people join because I use a software platform outside of Facebook, but at least I can see comments now. Four, three, two, march. Let's march while I see what's happening over here. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jill. Jill's concerned about how many lives my cats have because they come flying in and out of this hole 
However, I can see myself and the computer screen. So when I know one's down there, I kind of keep an eye out for them. <laughs> Let's take it a little bit wider. And we'll add a reach. We lift and lift. Those with a keen eye may notice that behind me on my door, I have my oversized tissue paper flowers that I made a month or so ago. Let's take it across the front. They really are too big for that wreath, but I don't know, I like them. Four. Three, two, let's go into a step touch. So step together, step together. And into a hamstring curl. Arms reach and pull, reach and pull. Now, anytime I teach a class up here, I always get lots of questions, mostly about where that hole goes. I've already answered that. <laughs> then I also get lots of questions about my china cabinet. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Four, three, two, and march. All right, I'm gonna grab another drink, turn this fan on. So I had to move all sorts of furniture to get ready for class this morning. And I'm bloody hot. Hi, Tina. Hi, Marie. Whew. Decided to bring you upstairs today. It's kind of weird because I moved everything. I mean, obviously there's still stuff here, but there's usually a bureau right there. Feels very echoey in here compared to being in the basement. All right, let's go back to our heel dig. Heel and heel. I hope that my ceiling fan doesn't cause too much weirdness in the light. I don't know if it's catching that at all. Let's reach that arm out. And we want to be reaching the opposite arm and leg. So I want you to take a look down and see if it is opposite or if it's the same. Naturally, you should do opposite, but the more you think about it, the more we get stuck in this neck of the woods. Keep going. I'm gonna mosey over. <laughs> when I see comments now, I get so excited. Light is perfect. Good morning. If I could figure out, you see the bureau or dresser that's usually behind me is where we keep all of our stuff, you know? like your car keys and your collection of face masks and whatnot. I don't have anywhere for that bureau. So if I could figure out where to put it so I didn't have to move it every time, we could stay right here. But I'll, I'll probably do more up here now that it's sunny out because I don't like being in the basement by myself in the dark. Let's march. I mean, it's nice enough down there, but when it's sunny and you go from a nice bright room down into a dark red room, especially now that my um, ring light died on me, I'm still a little bitter about that. All right, let's take it into a step touch. So step together, step together. If this is hard on your hips, 
you're going to keep your step touch small. If it's all right for you and you want to make it big, go for it. Not to be a broken record, but I am. If you are not taking advantage of the ability to play music during your workout, I really encourage you to. It really changes the feel, especially in those moments when we're just exercising and I'm not talking. Let's do a double step touch. So one, two, and back. One, two. I also have a bit more room up here so I can take up a bit more space. One more time. Then let's march up and back. We come up, two, three, back, two, three, and up, and back. Let's do two more times. Last one. And we march. All right, are we warmed up? I'm warmed up. I feel like I should have got ice water, but I didn't. If you want to grab a drink while I grab a drink, please feel free. But obviously, you can get a drink anytime you want. Hi, Joan. Hi, Pam. Pam, important question. How are you and your new kitty? can't remember his name right now, but coming back to our march. We're going to glue down one foot. We're going to take a step out to the side, shifting our weight, stepping back in. Look, for once, I'm going to have enough room in front of me that I'm not going to have to turn to the side for these. So we're trying to keep our toes pointing forward, shifting our weight into that moving foot. Other foot is staying glued to the floor. No need to rush. Take your time. How big of a step you take is entirely up to you. I can't believe this is the third day in a row with blue sky. And last I heard the weather is supposed to stay quite nice all week. It's very exciting. Do two more. Clara is way off in the background staring at me. All right, I'm gonna come forward a little bit so I don't run into the wall. But we're gonna keep this foot glued to the ground. You're gonna take a step forward, shifting your weight forward, a step back, shifting your weight back. I am gonna to turn to the side for a second, just so you can better visualize what I mean. But notice this foot is not lifting, the heel stays to the floor. Toes stay on the floor, but I'm still shifting the weight front and back. Man, I'm really hot. <laughs> this is a normal Tuesday thing for me, too. I didn't even have any coffee or anything today. I think, you know what I think? I think the duvet on my bed holds the heat in too well. I think it cooks me all, all night. All right, we're gonna combine the two. So we're gonna come forward, shifting our weight forward, out to the side, shifting our weight to the side, back and together. Coming forward, out to the side, back and together. Just take your time. I 
can't tell you how exciting it is for me to be able to see comments live again. <sighs> Every once in a while one would show up when we were posting in the event, but now I'm seeing like all of them. One more time. And then we're going to put our weight in our stationary leg, a little bend in the knee, and we're going to tap front, side, back, together. And if you want, you can go into a full balance if you're feeling it. But if not, just those taps are perfect. Work with what works for you today. One more time. And then we're gonna march. I'm gonna grab a drink, because I am purged like crazy. Lennox, that's Pam's kitty. Hi, Ellen. I'm glad that Lennox is quite a fun little guy. Let's glue the other foot down. We'll step out and in. I think that it's great that the shelters, since the shutdown, the shelters have had a hard time keeping like pets available because everybody keeps coming and getting them. At least in Halifax. One of my friends wanted to get a cat and it took her over two months because everybody kept snatching them up. My husband is working. For a while, he was working part-time from home when things, you know, were super shut down. But he's been working full-time at the office or at the store for the last month or so. So I spend most of my time by myself and with you. But on my end, you are a camera on a stick. <laughs> so it's not quite the same experience for me as it is for you. If I didn't have these two cats to drive me crazy, I think I would have really gone bonkers. All right, let's do one more. And we're going to go front and back. I'll turn to the side again to start. So we step forward, shifting our weight forward. Step back, shifting our weight back. Oh, I almost fell right over. Come back to the front. Last week, I think, I might not have been this class though, I was telling some class about the world's most extraordinary homes on Netflix. I'd been watching it and we just finished watching it the other day. And you know how Netflix sometimes plays things in reverse order when it's a series, it doesn't really matter what order you watch it in. So we watched the last episode first. Anyway, the second episode, so our second to last episode, was all about C, so houses that really embraced being right along the water. I think it was called C, maybe it was called Harbor, Coast, Coast. Anyway, let's come together and let's combine the two. So we'll come forward to the side, back, and together. So on that episode, one of the houses that they went to was on the South Shore. And like this is a worldwide show. One of the other ones in that episode was from Greece. Can't remember. And I feel like maybe there was one, possibly two other houses in Canada throughout the whole series, but they're all Vancouver, and maybe there weren't even any, and I don't recall, but we were very excited when they said they were going to Nova Scotia, and they didn't tell us where in Nova Scotia, 
but we we figured it out. Let's do two more. Last one. And then we'll put our weight in that standing foot and we'll tap front, side, back, together. Front, side, back. Make sure you have a little bend in your knee. And if you want, you can go into that balance. Uh oh, I think I might sneeze. Two more. Last one. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. I bet that went crazy when I put my hand over the microphone. Sorry. Oh. All right. Back to a march. We're going to get a quick drink here. Now we're going to go back to our step touch. So step together, step together. Oh gosh, I might have to run off camera for a second and get a Kleenex. I need to remember to order some allergy medication now that spring is here. My seasonal allergies have really kicked in. Let's go into, I don't know what the speed skate, that's what this is called. <laughs> It's like, does this have a name? Yes. So I'm bringing the foot behind, staying nice and tall through the torso. Abs are engaged. You can let your arms swing if you have room. Just don't come down here. We want to stay tall. You keep skating. I'm going to skate over to the Kleenex box. Because I got a runny nose. Oh gosh, that's better. Okay, skate. So we're going to do some single, single doubles here. Not quite yet. We'll start now. Single, single, then double. Single, single, and double. Single, single, and double. Single, single, and double. Two more times. Last one. Back to your step touch. Double, nope, I'm off the beat. Uh oh. That's this is the weird part when I don't know if you're even listening to music. And if you are, you're definitely not in the same phrasing of the music as I am. But I still feel this need to stay on the beat and march. Let's take it out wide, bring it in. It's driving me crazy that I can see this curtain is hung up a little bit and out. Bring it in because I had to move this coach forward a little bit. Give me more room. Let's take it wide. And into our speed skate, skate, double right here. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. We're gonna walk up and back right here. Up, two, three, back, two, three, again. Two more times. Last one. Step touch. Double step touch.
speed skate, single, single, double. Again, walk up and back, up and back. One more time, step touch. Double step touch, speed skate, single, single, double. Walk it up and back and march. We're almost done our cardio component, but we need to practice going the other way. So step touch, we need to balance everything out. Double step touch. Speed skate. And again, walk up and back. One more time. Step touch. Double step touch. Speed skate, single, single, double, and again, up and back. One more, and march. All right, we're gonna do something wild and crazy. So I want you to get a drink if you need one, or just keep marching if you don't. Oh, well, Lennox just came to see what's going on. Hey, Lennox. Does he know his name? I'm sure he does. Okay, the wild and crazy thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our pattern all to one side, then immediately all to the other side. I'm not gonna distinguish right and left because I'm still, I'm pretty sure this is your right. Right, this is your right. Someone wanna tell me, am I pointing to your right side. <laughs> I can never keep track of whether I'm mirrored or not. Is that your right? And this your left, right, left? Anybody want to put me out in my misery? So I'm going to say this is right until someone tells me it's not. So we're going to do the whole pattern right, then the whole pattern left immediately following. So we're going to start with four step touch, double step touch over and back, single, single, double speed skate, up and back one time. Four, three, two, step touch. Double, speed skate, single, single, double, up and back. Step touch, thank you, I saw those yeses. Double left, speed skate, single, single, double, up and back, to the right step touch, double step touch, speed skate, double, up and back, to the left. Double, speed skate, single, single, double, up and back. Step touch right, double step touch. Speed skate, single, single, double, up and back one time. To the left. Next time, I'm not gonna do it with you. Double step touch. Speed skate. Then double, up and back. You know what, I'll do one more set with you. Singles, next time you'll be on your own. Double. Speed skate, single, single, double, up and back. Last half with me, left step touch. Double, speed skate, 
double, up and back. Are you ready? Are you ready? Step, touch, right. Then, next. And then, to the left, move two, move three, move four, back to the start, right, step touch, double, speed skate, single, single, double, up and back, last time on your own. And march. All right, good job. Let's stop for a water break. I want you to make sure that you have some wall space and that you have something nearby that you can sit on. I might use this, but I also kept my stool out, although it's a little bit tall. I think I can do most of them from here. So I'm going to give you a minute to have a drink. Tell me how you did in that combination when I left you on your own and get your things all situated. And we'll start up again in a couple seconds. Oh, look, I should have moved my husband's shoes. I just left him sitting there. Oh, well. All right, be sure to let me know how you did on that pattern. But let's start off at a wall. And actually, I'll start here so that you can see me a little bit better. And we're going to do a standing leg lift. So making sure that you're not leaning over. You're keeping your feet, toes are all pointing forward. Four, three, two, one. Then I'm gonna stroll over here. You can just turn around. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite leg. So working through that outer hip. Of course, if you don't feel like you have to hold on to anything, you don't have to. Keep a little bend in your knee, abs engaged. Four, three, two, one. I am gonna come back over here because the light seems a little bit better. We're gonna face the wall chair, what have you. We're going to do a rear leg lift. So we're going to lift straight back and lower. We lift and lower. Make sure that you're not leaning forward. You're going to feel this in your low back and those low back extensors. Three, two, one. Then we switch. Lift, Bend in your standing leg. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Four, three, two, a one. And then we're gonna step back, hinging at the hip, keeping your head above your heart, bend in your knee, low back stretch. This coach right here is the one that Clara likes to get inside. She's so bad. Slowly step in. And then we're going to do some push-ups. Now, I would use this coach, except I think it's going to move on me. So I'm going to stick to the wall. But if you have something that's 
about this level that you want to use to make it a little bit harder. So the back of your couch could even use, it's just out of frame here, but my island is right there and that would be a perfect height as well. So you can do that. Or if you're feeling ambitious and you want to get down on the floor and do kneeling push-ups or full push-ups, by all means, please do. I'm going to hang out right here at the door. No, I'm going to come over here. I don't want to get my face full of flowers. We press in and out. So we want to make sure that we take our whole body so that you're not just bending at the waist. If it feels natural for you to let your heels come up off the floor, then please do. Remember to breathe. Do two more. Last one. When you're doing a wall push up, one thing I want you to be careful of is I've given this lecture about lots of things, but I don't think this specifically using momentum. So it's easy to just kind of like push in and press out. My hands come right off the wall, but that's not really staying true to any type of push up. So you want to lower in, stop, press out, stop, lower in, press out. Obviously, this is an imaginary push up, but you don't want to just be pumping them out. You want to make sure that you're doing them to the best of your ability. Michelle said she didn't do bad on that pattern. Tina said, and I quote, yikes. <laughs> I'm sure you were just fine. I'm sure you were fine. All right, before we sit down, let's do some calf raises. So we're going to lift up onto our toes and lower down. Keep a little bend in the knee. Do a few more. Last one. And then before we sit down, we're going to do a calf stretch. So we're going to step back, bringing your heel right to the floor, bending through that front knee. You want to stretch to the back of that lower leg. Relax your shoulders. And we'll switch sides. And step in and actually, let's go ahead and do our quadricep stretch before we sit down as well. And then we don't, won't necessarily have to get back up to do that. So grabbing onto your pant leg, sock, shoelace, ankle, foot, whatever you can get. Keep a bend in your standing leg. And then we'll switch sides. Again, bend in your standing leg. All right, and then we'll have a seat. So I'm gonna start off on the stool. We'll see if I have to switch. I feel like I should have a guitar if I'm gonna sit on this stool. All right, we're gonna start by tapping our toes. So for me, I don't have to worry about leaning back on my chair because I don't have a back. But if you do have a back, make sure that you're sitting up tall, that you're not just slouching against the back of your chair. Lifting your toes. We can lift our toes a little bit higher now than we could at the beginning of class because we don't have to worry about falling over and working that anterior tibialis. Now that it's getting nice out and we're allowed to be out and walking more, I mean, we were allowed before, but now we can go to like parks and stuff. People are going to be doing a lot more walking and that's when shin splints really come in, especially if you're using older shoes. And I know that it's not as easy to go in and get fitted for new shoes right now. So 
exercises like this that help to strengthen your anterior tibialis can help you a lot. All right. Let's bring our toes together. We're going to open up at the toes. Heels, we're going to go till we can't go any further. We're going to bring it on back in. And just keep working your way in and out. Working on internal and external rotation through our hip as we do this. And also through our knee joint a little bit. Make sure you're still sitting nice and tall. I'm getting hungry. My belly just growled. Good thing the kitchen's right behind the camera. <laughs> as soon as we're done, I can just dive right into some food. <laughs> All right. The next time you get your feet together, go ahead and keep them there. And we're going to bring our hands to the outside of the knees. I have to come forward a little bit because I'm up on this taller uh, seat. But if you don't need to lean forward, don't. Hands on the outside. We're going to lift up the inside of our shoes without letting our knees move. So when you first start an exercise like this, it's pretty natural to do this. But we really want to try and isolate the ankle. One more. And then two fists between your knees, a little bit more space between your feet. And we're going to lift up the outside. Oh, I got an itch outside of our foot. It's not a very big movement. Look, my feet aren't moving very much at all. Two more. And then we're going to do some ankle circles. I'm going to bring my hands behind my leg because I'm not an awkward level here, other direction. If you want to, please feel free, but if you have a normal chair, you probably don't feel the need to. And then we'll switch legs. And other direction. And we'll bring the feet down. We're gonna glue our elbows into our side. Close and open. I want to keep your elbows next to your side, so don't open up to here. Stay nice and close. Let's do two more. Last one. I'm going to take a second and move my mic pack to the back because I keep running into it. All right, we're going to extend one leg, opposite foot. You're going to put the heel on the laces and you're going to draw your heel up towards your knee. If you need to use your hands to help guide you, you can. And then we're just going to cross the ankle over the shin. If without using your hands, you can bring it up above the knee. You can do that. If you want to bend the knee without using your hands, you can. So because I'm at a higher height, this is a less intense stretch than it would be if I was in my usual chair. So if you find that your hips are quite tight and is it difficult to do this, maybe try putting a cushion on your normal chair so it elevates you a little bit higher and you may find that it makes it a little bit easier for you. Back of my pants have been all rolled up this whole time. Can you believe Rose doesn't care at all about us up here? She's just been in the other room this whole time. If I was in the basement, she'd have been all over me 50 times by now. All right, let's bring that foot down. You're going to extend that leg. Heel whoop, on the laces, drawing up to your knee and down. And then we're going to cross ankle over the shin. Again, if without using your hands, you can bring it above your knee. Go ahead or bending the knee. We want to keep this foot flexed. That's going to keep our anterior tibialis active, help protect that knee. And I want you to still be sitting nice and tall, so don't get all slouchy McSlouch on me.
All right, we're going to bring the foot back down. And now my usual morning ladies will know that this one we usually do against the wall, but I don't really have, without moving some stuff, I don't have a blank wall. So we're going to do this seated. If you have a blank wall and you want to go to it, please feel free. We're going to bring our elbows up shoulder height. And you're just going to rotate back and down. So this shoulder rotation is helping us open up through the shoulder. It's also strengthening between the shoulder blades and our shoulder girdle. It's a big postural corrector, which is why most people dislike it. Let's do three more. Two. The last one, and we'll bring the arms down. Let's do some shoulder rolls. I need to grab a quick drink. And then we are going to sit comfortably. No, we're not going to sit comfortably. <laughs> I take that back. Let's bring our hands down onto our thighs. Actually, I'm going to pop over here because then you'll have a nice side view. You're going to press down and you're going to round up. Pressing down, rounding up. It's a little seated cat and cow. Two more times. Last one. And gently coming up nice and tall and we'll pop back over to my stool. We're gonna do our finger dexterity. Actually, I will come up a little bit closer. Taking each finger, touching it to the thumb, making round-ish circles. And then same thing with straight fingers. And then some wrist circles. I'm gonna step back because we're gonna bring our hands out. You're gonna turn your palms down, turn your palms up. Bring your palms together. You're gonna lower down towards the floor just until. Oh gosh, look how crooked I am. Um, you feel your hands start to peel apart, then you're gonna bring them back together. And then the backs of your hands together, lifting up until you feel them start to peel apart. And then release and we'll come back and have a seat. I'm going to start off with our neck stretches. So lowering ear towards the shoulder, maybe flexing the opposite hand. Gently lifting up to the other side. Gently lift, chin towards the chest. Slowly lift, and we're going to do that gentle half circle. So ear towards chest. No, that was not what I meant to say. Ear towards shoulder, then rotating down towards the chest into the other shoulder. One more. Slowly lift up, hand behind the head, other hand on, no, one hand behind the back, other hand on the head, lowering nose towards the underarm. Gently lift and we'll switch sides, lowering towards the other underarm.
Slowly lift, a couple of shoulder rolls. You know what, I'm gonna come a little bit further forward since we're just gonna be sitting for the next little bit. And we're gonna reach one arm across, shoulder stretch. Reaching that arm back, tricep stretch. And then to the other side. And reach back. And then we'll reach the arm up and over. And to the other side. Coming back up nice and tall, deep breath in. As you exhale, turn to look towards the side wall. Slowly back to the front, inhale, exhale, look the opposite way. Now I have to back up a little bit because I forgot about leg stretches. Slowly back to the front, you're gonna extend one leg. I'm just gonna turn to the side, I think. Extend one leg, same arm as leg, and reaching forward, just until you feel that stretch all along the back of the leg. You can continue to reach, or you can relax the hands down if you like. Relax your shoulders. Look at my posture, I'm not all rounded over. Let's come on up, let's switch sides. I will come forward now. One leg extended, opposite leg extended. Same arms leg reaches forward and then relaxing once you feel that stretch. Make sure that you do keep a little bend in your knee. Relax those shoulders, relax your jaw. And slowly coming back up. Oh, this seat's getting on my nerves. Lifting one leg, you're gonna flex and point the toes. And then just let the foot rest naturally. We're gonna rotate that whole leg. So if this is the top of my thigh, it's what's turning. It's not just my ankle. You'll notice that it goes much further to the outside than it does to the inside. That's because we are mostly doing external rotation through our hip. So we're much better at it. And we also have a larger range of motion through it naturally. One more, and then we'll switch legs. So flex and point. And then just let your leg rest. We'll do our little windshield wiper. Again, this is the top of my thigh. You can see it's moving. Two more. Last one. And then we're gonna come down onto our forearms and just let the low back stretch a little bit. Notice I'm keeping my head high. I'm not rounding all the way down. This is a little bit high because of this high stool, but you get the point. We'll slowly come on up. We're gonna reach back. If you have a back on your chair, you're gonna grab the back of your chair. If you don't, you're just gonna energetically reach through your fingertips as we open through our chest. And then relax, you're gonna make a fist, grab onto the fist, around through your back, lowering your arms, thinking about creating space between your shoulder blades. Ah. 
and relax a couple more shoulder rolls now as much as i like this pretend bob seeger that's playing on my phone right now i'm going to stop it because we are going to go into some breathing exercises so if you were listening to that album that i shared you may want to stop it as well we're going to close our eyes or look down towards the floor and start to pay attention to our breathing, not worrying about changing it, just noticing it, feeling the natural rise and fall of your chest. And starting to lean in a little bit to the sensations that come from your inhale, that come from your exhale. And I want to give you a gentle nudge to move your inhales into inhales through your nose and your exhales out through your nose or mouth. I want you to focus on breathing in through the nose, but exhaling whichever way feels most natural. I want you to really relax through the eyelids and relaxing your eyes behind your eyelids. It's really easy to have your eyelids closed, but still almost be staring at the back of your eyelids. Just let everything soften, the area between your eyes soften. Again, bringing your attention back to your breath, your inhale and your exhale. Feeling your ribs expand, your chest lift. And as you exhale, your chest lowers, your ribs lower, your abdomen lowers. Let's slowly open our eyes. Take a nice deep breath in, exhaling down, and again, breathing in. And exhale one more time. Then we're gonna finish with just a couple of gentle stretches to make sure that you're awake again and ready for the rest of your day. Let's do a few shoulder rolls. And let's once again inhale, and as we exhale, turn to look towards one side wall. Gently back to the front, exhale, look to the side. Slowly back to the front. And according to my watch, 
It is seven seconds to 11.30, so we'll take one more nice deep breath in and out, and we are finished for today. Thank you guys so much for enjoying, enjoying, yep, <laughs> joining me, although I hope you did enjoy it. Um, have a wonderful afternoon. If you are looking for something to do a little bit later at 1.30, Halifax time, I will be doing a 30-minute yoga class in my Wellness Simplified Facebook group. We're going to do 15-minute gentle stretch and then a 15-minute yoga nidra. So if you're not in that group, I will add the link in the comments or in the description somewhere so that you can find it. But 1.30, I will be doing that. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.